Hello and welcome back, Sleepy What's It here, and I have another miniatures video for you. As you can tell from the title, I am doing yet another video about making bases because I'm trying to avoid working on projects I really need to get done. Though in the case of this base, this is actually a base that I'm working on for a specific model that hopefully I'll be finishing in the near future. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is making some wet or slimy stone bases. I'm starting from the assumption here that you have already a base of some sort to work with, and we're mostly working on the paint job on it. I'm going to be using this precast base. It either comes from Micro Art Studios or Secret Weapon. I can't remember which. I kind of have a box of precast bases that I just pick out of. If you don't have a precast one or don't want to use a precast one, you could sculpt a base using green stuff and like lay it flat and cut it with a knife to get flagstones or build little balls to make more like a cobblestone. If you have access to Green Stuff World's rollers or dungeon tile plungers, both of those would work really well. Happy Sebaku used to make some mats that would give us a good texture. I'll put some links to videos that I've done about uh, those things. But yeah, there's a variety of ways that you can get like a stony texture on your base. And I'm kind of assuming that you already have that. So now that we have our stony base here, we need to uh, get painting it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is just priming it with light gray from Reaper, just brushing it on, just because I know the next layer I'm going to be doing is a gray, so might as well not make my life difficult. Now that we've let the primer dry, I'm going to put a layer of gray sear from Citadel on here because I'm going to be using some contrast paints over this. Gray sear, at least out of the pot, is technically not a primer, which is why I pre-primed the bases, just for longevity and make sure it wears better. You may choose to omit this. I'm I'm unclear on with gray sear if it has any primer in it. Now that we've let the gray sear dry, the next thing we're going to do is put a layer of basilium gray, which is a contrast paint from Citadel, mixing it with a little bit of contrast medium just to let flow better, getting it over the entire base, making sure that it goes into all the cracks and nooks and crannies to make sure those are nice and darkened. And we're going to let that dry. Now that the basilium gray is dried, we are going to dry brush it using Dawnstone from Reaper just to brighten it up a little bit because it's pretty dark and pick out some of the edges. If we were doing a proper like just stone base here, I would also do another layer of highlighting at this point to really make it uh, pop and get the edges out. But because we're going for more of a dark grungy wet thing, that's why I'm not going up another layer of brightness. So with the dawn stone uh, dry and uh, applied, we have now established our stone color. So we're going to start making this stone look wet. So the first thing we're going to be doing is putting down some Militarium Green, which is a contrast paint from Citadel. This we're going to cut about one to one, if not even more, with contrast medium. This is to thin out the color a little bit so that we can apply it everywhere. And it's not going to make our base green. It's going to make it kind of greenish. It's going to tinge it more. So we're going to let this dry again. And once we have this dried, we're going to apply a bit of Dawnstone, uh, dry brushing it on. And the reason I'm doing that here is because what I'm imagining here is a base for a model that, that's in a, like a very wet region or wet city. So this is still stone that gets walked on regularly. So it's not going to have like a thick layer of that green algae slime on top of it. If you wanted more of something like that, like something that's like in a deep, dank dungeon, then you would skip dry brushing here and you may have put the Melterum green in the previous step on a little bit thicker. But I'm dry brushing it here because this is stone that gets walked over regularly. Now that we've finished the highlighting here, you can see on this base that there's a little bit of like a mossy lichen thing going on. So we need to pop that out a little bit because the Dawnstone dry brushing especially has probably grayed that up. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a little bit of Swamp Green from Reaper to it just to make the green pop a little bit. You're also going to work a little bit of that into some of the grooves and stuff just, just to spread out the green a little bit more. And then doing a little bit of final highlighting using Camouflage Green from Reaper uh, and a dry, uh, dry brushing it onto the Lichen. Not sure how much this actually helped here. I could have probably gone in a little bit more, but it still stands out a little bit from the uh, stone. And to complete the base, I just uh, rimmed it out using pure black from Reaper, like I do with all my bases. So that is the completed base. I'm happy with it what it is. It gets the look across of it. You could make it more wet and grimy if you wanted to, uh, just by skipping some of the dry brushing and rebrightening. 
but I think that's it. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. I put out new miniature content weekly. I also do Twitch painting streams. They're kind of a chilled, relaxed thing. If you want to uh, uh, join along for those, haven't figured out a good schedule for those, but someday maybe I'll be regular about them. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.